Canada is nowhere near that situation, though public health officials here warn we're still at a dangerous point. And vaccine rollout delays are not helping. The government now says Canada will not receive any Pfizer-BioNTech vaccines next week because of production issues in Europe. Mike Lecouture reports on how the provinces are dealing with the delays. Canada was informed of the decision Tuesday morning, and it came with even more bad news. Uh, there will be considerable impact across all provinces, asymmetric across the board. Uh, the overall impact over the next month um, is in the range of 50% decrease of expected allocations. The delays are being blamed on Pfizer needing to shut down production temporarily so it can expand it significantly. The frontline doctors understand the delay, but it means there's no let up inside the ICU. Having to uh, see our COVID patients go through what they do, you know, having to put on our PPE and, and you see often our nurses and respiratory therapists in a room for 12 hours, exhausted, sweating and, and, and just, you know, having to, to really go the extra mile. Now, the delivery delays aren't happening everywhere and not to the same extent. There are reports other countries in Europe have been using political pressure to secure supplies of the vaccine. What are you doing, if anything, to try and put pressure on these companies to actually respect the contracts we've signed? And we continue to work every day reaching out to the top levels of vaccine companies, uh, including uh, myself being involved, to ensure uh, that we are getting uh, the doses we need. Prime Minister Trudeau is trying to reassure Canadians deliveries will ramp back up and Pfizer will hit its target of 4 million doses by the end of March. But Ontario Premier Doug Ford is prodding the Prime Minister to do more. If I was in his shoes, I'm sure he is doing it, but I'd be on that phone call every single day. I'd be up that guy's yin-yang so far with a firecracker, he wouldn't know what hit him from Pfizer. Canadian officials warn the road ahead may not be as smooth as we want it to be, but they're confident everyone who wants a vaccine will be able to get one by the end of September. Donna? All right, Mike Lecouture in Ottawa, thanks.